What if I told you that three teams ranked in the top 10 for college women's basketball aren't ranked anymore heading into the second half of the season? Would you believe me? Well, this has happened. Texas was number three, Tennessee was number five, and Louisville was number seven. First off, Texas. On paper, it seemed to be Vic Schaefer's best team since his 2018 Mississippi State Bulldogs that reached the Final Four. They looked like a Final Four team and a favorite to win the Big 12. Currently, their record is 11-4. and four. Two of those losses come from ranked opponents, one being from UConn, and the other being who was then ranked number six, Louisville. The other two losses came to Marquette 68-61 and South Florida 70-65. They recently lost sophomore Aaliyah Moore to a torn ACL. The Ford had started all nine games she appeared in, averaging 11.2 points and 4.8 rebounds. Also, point guard Rory Harmon missed five games with a toe issue earlier on in the season. Injuries and lack chemistry earlier in the season has cost them, but it now seems they are figuring out their game with a mix of transfers and previous starters. Something is now clicking. Next, Tennessee. The Lady Volunteers have had an interesting season to say the least. Currently, their record is 10-6, and six, starting off the season with an upset loss against Ohio State 87-75. And all of their other losses have came to ranked opponents or now ranked opponents, losing to number 12 Indiana, who's now ranked 4, UCLA, who's now ranked 10, Gonzaga, who's now ranked 19, number 9 Virginia Tech, now ranked 7, and number 2 Stanford. They seemed off balance with current style of play haven't found footing with new transfers, and many in the basketball world are saying they lack toughness. Though the Lady Vols aren't where they want to be, their one-two punch of seniors Jordan Horston and Rakia Jackson have been making an impact. Jackson averages 16 points, 5 rebounds, and 1 assist, while Horston averages 16 points, 6 rebounds, and 3 assists. Lastly, Louisville. The Cardinals sit at 11-5. and five. Those losses have come to Gonzaga, now ranked number 19, South Dakota State, number 4 Ohio State, now ranked 3, Middle Tennessee, and most recently, Duke. Louisville lost two of their top three scorers from last season in Emily Inksler and Kiana Smith. This led to hope in bigger seasons from Olivia Cochran, Chrislyn Carr, and Morgan Jones, former All-ACC first team. But that hasn't really happened. Though Cochran is making an impact in the rebound column, averaging 7.3, the trio each only contributes about 11 points a game. But Louisville star Haley Van Lith hasn't faltered in this disappointing season for the Cardinals. The forward averages 19.8 points, 5.8 rebounds, and 3.3 assists. So far, it seems that Van Lith is taking it upon herself to get the Louisville Cardinals back into the top 25. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below what you think the biggest shock of the season is.